Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, I am Zombie Cartman, and this is the team pile-up barrier glitch for the map Die Rise for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now the first thing you're going to want to do upon spawning into the map like is get into the escape power. elevator Try over again. here, and then make your way down to the power area, and go ahead and pull whatever gun you have in the fridge, and about 20,000 points out of the bank. You might need more, you might need less. I didn't actually have a gun, so I just went ahead and pulled out points. Now once you have the points you need, you want to go ahead and make your way down to the Sliquifier, build that thing, and then let the player or one of the players that's not going to be in the glitch grab the Sliquifier. Once you've got the Sliquifier, you're going to want to make your way up to the top of the map and build the Trample Steam, and then make sure everyone grabs one of those. You'll also want to make your way around and hit the box a few times. Make sure you get some good guns, especially if you're going to be in the glitch. And you want to make sure that the players that aren't going to be in the glitch also have good guns Power other than Swift Fire. Dimensions. You also want to get perks, you know, maybe at least Jug. Bye. And once you're all set, you'll go back to the Trample Steam building room, ah. jump down here to these mattresses, go through this doorway. Don't mind this trample steam here, I left it there earlier. Now, for those of you not in the glitch, you'll want to stay back in this corner behind that sign that I was shooting there, right here on the wall. You'll want to stay back in this corner, and basically the zombies won't come to you back in this corner. And you can stand up here on the ledge and just shoot down into the bottom like so, and kill all the zombies. You'll also have to keep an eye out for the occasional zombie coming in like this around the lip. And for the person getting into the glitch, you're going to need your trample steam and you're going to have to come up against this wall like so. And then bring your trample steam up into this piece of concrete until the corner of it is just like that. And then go up against the left side of the trample steam before it actually finishes charging so that it flings you straight up into the wall. Now to get out, you can just simply hit the crouch button, which is B or circle, depending on what platform, and you'll fall right out of the glitch. And I'm just doing that for demonstration so I can show you again. It's just the corner of the trample steam into that piece of concrete. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and get lined up with the left edge of the flinger part of the trample steam so that it puts Please you be into the wall. As as it looks. Now, once you're in the glitch, like I said, the zombies will generally pile up right here. And for the first 20 rounds or so, you're just going to be killing them with normal guns. Then you'll switch to the Sliquifier. Now on the All jumper rounds, the you'll want to have somebody not in the glitch jump down and place a trample steam right here. Or, you know, somewhere in that general area at your feet so that the jumpers that attract to you in the glitch get killed by the trample steam. And then the players outside of the glitch just run around that trample steam and try not to hit it because then it you know it takes a while to recharge and whatnot but eventually it will wipe out all the jumpers and because nobody fired a shot or or mainly nobody missed a shot you will get the free perk and the 2,000 points just like that Whoa, da, 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 da. We should not leave this lying around. Further changes in yeah, so now if somebody does happen to go down or you know something crazy like that they can just crawl over to the person in the glitch and that's one of the cool things about this glitch is that you can actually revive people that are not in the glitch basically and you'll see in this gameplay here zombie queen barely makes it over to me to get revived and I could tell by the horde of zombies that was around her, she probably wasn't going to survive getting revived. But at the same time, if I let her bleed out, then she'll just be dead. So if you revive her, you know, then she's going to go down again, but the revive starts over. So basically, that was the thought process there. And, you know, I was able to keep her alive long enough to be able to revive her in a way that she could escape from me. This madness. 
easily communicable by touch, you know? And with the proper setup and a good team and everything, you can use this glitch to actually get to some decent high rounds, maybe 50s or 60s or so. And if things don't go well, you can always just go throw your money back in the bank and then go start doing the crazy jump until you die from it. I call it the crazy jump because it's pretty much one of the craziest things you could do. Because if you don't make it, you do die. You touch it, you pay for it. And anyways, I just want to thank you guys for watching my video. I've been getting a lot of subs lately and I want to thank everybody that's subbed to my channel. That's really awesome. It gives me motivation to keep making videos and just lets me know that people do like my content, which is pretty cool. And I uh, hope you guys found this informative and helpful. And until next time, have a good day.